Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Audio bandwidth for the Daily Gizwiz is provided by Winamp. Subscribe to the Daily Gizwiz and all your favorite podcasts with the ultimate media player. Download it for free at winamp.com. Video bandwidth for the Daily Gizwiz is provided by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. It's time for the Daily Gizwiz with Mad's maddest writer, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 1224 for Thursday, November 18th, 2010. The open at five in one. And now, get ready for Dick. It's Thursday, time to rock your socks off with this guy over here, the Gizwiz. It's Thursday. Another crappy theme. It's Thursday. Another crappy theme. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. The star of Moons Over My Hammy, <laughs> Mr. Dick DiBartolo. Leo, how you doing, pal? I'm well. How are you, my friend? I'm super fine. Thank you very super much. Super fine. He's super fine. Super fine. Yeah, Who's you're getting all Walker? set for your turkey day. Oh, it One is week time. From today. Oh, it is time. Yes, indeed. Now you do the oh, where, where? Where'd you go? Oh, there you are. You do the pineapple <laughs> upside down cake every year. Is this going to be another uh, pineapple upside yes, down? Yes, this is going to be another pineapple upside down uh, cake day, and it's the, the recipe still on my website. And a lot of people have made it and sent me photos of their results. People are very good at uh, cake baking. Actually, people are very good at pretty much everything. So, so, so uh, they follow. So, your recipes. Where is your recipe? Is it on the Gizwiz? Uh, it should be uh, yes, Gizwiz Biz. And uh, over on the right hand side, there's a list of I think it's called popular content. And pineapple upside down cake should be in that list. So, uh, if you make one for your Thanksgiving, you can do that. Now, you remember yesterday we had a, uh, a listener write in. Yes. To talk about he was he was eating something called moons over my yes, hammy my hammy right yes and we and I speculated that that was a deli no in fact it's a Denny's oh Denny's it's, makes moon over my hammy it is Denny's and I thank uh, CLC Radio in our chat room for filling me in and just in case you're curious it is 841 yeah. calories of yummy. Oh. 51 grams of fat. <laughs> oh my 22 word. of them saturated fat. 42 <laughs> carbs. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a rather rich dish. Yeah. I'm, th I'm thinking that there's ham and there's eggs. I don't know what else is in that, but uh, yeah. it is it is not something we would recommend our our viewers eat too often. By the way, right next to it in the nutrition facts, there's one of those belly fat ads and i'm not surprised oh that's very <laughs> funny oh that's so <laughs> that kind of makes sense and it's, if you're eating that and you want to know what it is you probably should know more about it that's so, uh, very there you funny. go so that's what that's what our friend phil flick was eating <laughs> okay. or whatever his name was yeah phil uh oh no it was uh, uh it wasn't phil i forgot it was, anyway <laughs> some guy that's what some guy was some eating. guy with an uninteresting last name like yeah. han i think yeah, it was h-a-h-n yeah, yeah. so uh luck a luck muck a luck a muck a luck. Uh, we have a we have an update on a product that was introduced exactly, or I don't know exactly, but it was introduced two years ago. Uh -huh. And we both like it. We both I own a couple of them now. We all know about Road Rage, and we now know about Rap Rage, where you get things in packages you cannot open. Oh, I hate that. And, Yes. Okay. So open it was the device that we talked about on a previous daily Gizwiz. And open it just sent me this is the open it four in one, which has now been replaced with the open it five in one. Ooh. 
Yeah, well, the, the 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 extra one, no, I'm not so crazy about. Uh, it's a bottle opener. Okay. Oh, okay. So you you may or may not need it. But what they've done is they've reduced the size of the open it. They've made it much easier to hold. They've made a couple of other changes. One change uh, I'm not too crazy about is I, I can, there's a screwdriver. Well, I should tell you what it is. First of all, you can clip to it any kind of heavy plastic. It looks exactly like garden shears. Like if you were out in the garden and you had to cut a branch, you know, like an eighth to a quarter inch with this device, you probably could do it. But what's nice about it is unlike scissors, where the blades are right in line with your fingers as you cut, the blades on open it are offset. And what that does, when you're cutting through that really hard clamshell plastic, you don't run the risk of the plastic coming right up against your fingers because that stuff is really sharp. So the offset blades help you pry the plastic out of the path of your fingers as you cut. They look kind of like uh, pliers a little bit. They look like pliers and they look like pruning shears. Yeah. And but you don't cut thing, yourself with these. You don't cut yourself. Then in the base is a screwdriver. The original had a screwdriver that folded out. So to use the little screwdriver, you had to use the entire tool which was a little bit inconvenient. But what's neat about the screwdriver is so many kids' toys, as a matter of fact, I guess it's the lore now that all kids' toys, the battery compartment has to screw oh, right. shut. Right. So now you can chomp through the plastic with this, you can cut the tie wraps with this, and then you can open the base and pull out a little mini screwdriver and it's a two-sided screwdriver. One one side is Phillips, and the other side is slot. So then you have a screwdriver, and you can flip the head around. Most of the battery compartments I've worked with, maybe they all are, are Phillips head. And then, if you're cutting through like a box, there is a spring-loaded pop-out little knife at the end. Ooh. And it's spring-loaded, so when you let it go, it pops back in. Now, the one thing that they've added that you're going to, I think, quickly lose is they, they now send you a little cap that goes over where the blade comes out. Um, it doesn't attach to anything, so I, I, you may lose that. And the other thing to remember is that the little knife is not replaceable. Oh. So don't use it to pry something up, because if you break the blade... You now have a four-in-one device <laughs> because you cannot uh, use the new one. Uh, you cannot replace it with a new one. So that's the new Open It. Uh, on, the, on the company website, it's 12 bucks. but I did a web search. And on Amazon, you can get it for about uh, – CyberGuy sells it for two forty nine. And you're looking for the uh, – like $2.49? No, do what did I say? Two forty nine. Yeah. Is that oh, I'm cheap, sorry. Really? Ten, no, ten, no, ten forty nine. Oh, good. I was going to say that's awfully cheap. Yeah. Ten forty nine, and and you want the five in one, which is the that's new the version. New one. Yeah. And, and the new version, even though it, the bottle open, you may not need it. It is a lot easier to hold, and the removable screwdriver is really a nice feature because before you had to use the entire tool to unscrew something. Um, so that's it. The new open it five in one. And something and else. They, there's something more. Else they, yeah, something else they changed I thought was rather strange. When I first showed it, I joked that you couldn't get it out of the package. So then, even though the back of the, the, back of the package, it, it comes in plastic. It, it, it but, comes in a bubble, the, like the kind of package it's no, designed no, no, to no. cut? The back, the, back of it, the back of it is cardboard. Ah. And it was scored. So you could just push your oh. finger through and break the... In the new packaging, the cardboard is no longer scored. So you oh. literally do need a pair of scissors or a knife to cut through the cardboard to get to open it out. But so this is I your new open it, so you could take the old open it and do it. Perfect. You Perfect. see, you always have a solution to everything. Perfect. Perfect. I'm so excited. Per <laughs> the open it five in one... In one. There's five, and then there's one. Five.
five is inside the one. Letter to the Gizwiz. And it's so funny because this letter is about the Google review. I thought you were going to say I couldn't open this letter, so I used the open it. Oh, that's very... That, no. Okay. If I had been the comedian I thought I was, I would have <laughs> no, said no, that. No, no, not at all. Do not uh, follow my instructions. It's a bad idea. <laughs> I'll tell you right now. Uh, Dear Dick and Leo, I love listening to the Daily Gizwiz at the beginning of work to get me started for the day. I got this new job this year, and I have, uh, I have to cut down on my listening time to books and podcasts. Oh, since I got this new job, I haven't missed an ep episode of the Daily Gizwiz since I discovered it last year. I'm writing to tell you about the magic that happened when I got my Logitech review with Google TV. I had an Android phone since it became available in North Dakota, have uh, rooted, rooted about a dozen phones for friends. What does that mean? I've rooted about Oh, a dozen don't ask. If you have to oh, ask, okay. Okay. <laughs> it means okay. he's, he's uh, basically jailbroken the Android phone. Oh, oh okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. okay. Uh, I thought I knew all the tricks to review could have up its sleeve. I plugged it in, set up my device's work with the IR signal, uh, which you talked about, but I had some concerns that the review is under a wooden TV stand that I built and that the AV receiver and resets bookshelf around the corner would not receive the IR oh, no, signal. because it's got RF. Yeah. That's what I loved about it, yeah. <laughs> yes, as soon as I plugged it in, all my devices were under the magic powers of the review. Audio and power worked immediately. I thought that the control might be happening over the HDMI, but I soon discovered that's not a feature. I started to wonder if my glasses were reflecting the IR, so I took them off and it still worked. I explained my amazement to my wife, and she snickered and pointed to the ten paintings of fantasy artist Sue Dorr hanging around our living room. The unicorn and dragons are actually reflecting the signals, so it really is magic. But now that... W so he's really wrong, right? Because... The, it's not reflecting, uh, it's RF, which, uh, which it, is automatic. It's, it's RF, yeah. it's, uh, we... <laughs> Yeah. So we hate to break this to you. Uh, let's see. His name is Joe Jedi Joe Heck. So Joey, as Leo reviewed on Tuesday, it's it's uh, RF controlled, not infrared. So you can take down those pictures if you really hate them. <laughs> may annoy your wife, but your Google review may still work. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Uncle Bick 2 in the chat room says, I give the open it to my clients as a thank you. To open the package now, you just squeeze it from the sides, and it pops the package open, separating the cardboard from the plastic. So that's why oh. they don't have the things. Now, I wonder what Uncle Bick 2 does for a living. What his clients are that he would give them. Maybe they're prisoners. Yes. Maybe they're in jail. And he suggests this is how you might want to get out. Maybe he's a lawyer. You know what? I think he's the guy who asked me how big was the pineapple upside down. Yeah, what is, what, could you, and could what you could fit open it? inside it? <laughs> <laughs> he said, Dick, just a crazy, wacky question. How many tools? <laughs> how many tools does your upside down? Is it bigger than a file or a hacksaw? Also, uh, just a follow-up on um, my Turn the Tables Tuesday. Randall Schwartz is in the chat room. He's in Genoa, oh. Italy right now. He's on a cruise. He's the guy who, on Tuesday, we mentioned, yes. wrote a Pearl script that would allow me to do uh, uh, enter a time and would give it to me in Roman numerals. He said he wrote it in 15 minutes while on the boat, and he explained what I needed to do to uh, get it working. I have to uh, download that Roman library, so I'll get that. And now, from now on, when I tell you what the episode number it is, I'll do it. In Roman numerals. Won't that be exciting? Yeah, it'll help. <laughs> Will it? Really, really? Uh, Dick, tomorrow you have to make a trip for us. Yes. Over the river, through the woods, into the... To, to where? Into Dick's Gadget, gadget warehouse. warehouse. To Grandmother's Gadget Warehouse we go. So, uh... 
I don't think there's snow yet, but if there should be any snow, get your mucklucks, and we'll see you tomorrow. I'll be here. D-A-I-L. Why? It's the day. It's own gravy. Yeah.